Hey there, I'm your host Lasawi, and in today's video, I will show you how to create a countdown timer. Now, this was a requested video, so I'll be showing you how to implement this with an ability, but you'll be able to use this essentially for anything you want. So if I press my left mouse button, we can see we go invisible, and it's kind of small, but at the very top left corner, you can see my countdown timer. Now, this starts at 10 seconds, and once it goes all the way down to zero, we'll become visible. And if I want to turn it on, and then I decide, oops, I don't want to have it anymore, we can just turn it off. And if I turn it on again, the timer will go back to uh, 10 or whatever you set it at. Now, this can be customized to whatever you like. And with all that said, let's begin. Open up your project, and let's go to the content drawer. Now, over here, you want to go to your player. I'll be using BP underscore Brady. So go to your player character, and in the event graph, let's do a custom event. Now I'll call this count, oh, wow, that's a capital O, count down timer, call this whatever you like. And from this event, we can do set timer by event. And we can drag the event, do add event, and we can call this something like start timer. From here, it would be a good idea if we create two variables. So I'll call this seconds. And I'm using floats just because I prefer. You can use integers. Uh, is that yeah? You can use integers if you prefer. I'll just be using floats. So next will be minutes, and let's get our seconds. And if this is equal to zero, get a branch. Plug that into there. So if this is false, what we will be doing on false, we will be getting the seconds. We will be subtracting or minusing whatever you prefer and we want to subtract one, and then we want to set our seconds, just like so. And one more thing before I forget, um, over here in the set timer by event, make sure this is looping and just set this to one second. So when you have this, that's good. Then on true, get a second branch, and the condition of this is get your minutes. If this is also equal to zero, so that's the condition, from false, we can set our seconds and we can set them to be 59, like so. Then we will get our minutes, we will subtract one, and then we will just simply set our minutes back here again. Uh, this goes here actually, and that's looking good for us. So I think that's pretty much um, all for the moment. Now we can just uh, compile and save. And let's go create our UI. So this will be our widget. So over here, back in the content drawer, new folder, UI. And for the UI, I'm going to create a widget. This will be called WB underscore count down. Call it whatever you like. Then inside of this, I need a canvas panel. And then let's get a text. Now, what you can do with this, I'll simply leave it in the top left corner. So let's anchor top left, size to content. And for the text, let's say zero, zero, double colon, zero, zero. So we can distinguish between our minutes and our seconds. Next, let's go to bind, create binding. Over here, you want to cast to your player character. So for me, it's going to be Brady. And um, there we go. And for object, get player character, like so. Then we made the seconds and minutes. So just get them. First, I'll get the minutes because I want this to be on the top and then I can get my seconds just like so. Now from these guys do a text to float or to text float and duplicate this to make your life easier. And from the return value, do format text. Break this chain. Inside here, do curly brackets, X, curly brackets, double colon, curly brackets, Y and close them. So that's looking good for us. We get the X and Y values. So the minutes, yeah, that's correct. This will go to X and the seconds will go to Y. Just like so, plug this into here. And that's looking good for us. So we can, actually, one more thing. If you click the drop down arrow for the minimum integral digits, set this to two. Otherwise, for example, if you have six seconds left, it won't say zero, six, it'll just say six. So um, set that to two and I'll do the same here. So you can close this. Now we're ready to compile and save. So exit of that and back inside of your event graph, I will add this widget 
because we need to add it to our screen. So I will add this widget to my invisible and visible um, functions. So I have them right here. So essentially just add this to whatever ability you are using. So once we become invisible, I want to create widget. Then I will search for countdown. Yeah, that's what we called it. Then for the return value, promote to variable count down ref. And we can do add to viewport, just like so. And we can plug that into the return node. So that's for my invisibility. And for my visible, I just want to get the reference of countdown widget and say remove from parent because I no longer want to see it once I become visible again. So let's just hook that up there. And we can compile and save. Now we just close those functions there back inside of the event graph on my um, invisibility. So let me just talk you through this. So I'm essentially pressing left mouse, then it's playing a montage and it's checking if I'm visible or not. If I am, then it's going to make me, um, if I'm invisible, if I, if I am visible, it's going to make me invisible. And if I am invisible, it's going to make me visible. So if we become invisible, I want to start this guy or this guy, I mean, so countdown timer. So let's go and look for countdown timer, just like that. Then um, if we compile and save, we should set our seconds actually. We never did that. So let me just set 10 seconds. We will see um, it's on the screen. It won't work fully for us just yet. I just want to show you that it works. So boom, there we go. And it'll take down all the way down to zero. So what we need to happen is back inside of our set timer by event. So on true from this branch right here, we want to do seconds. So that's because I'm, I'm using the seconds at the moment. So we want to set this. We want to get our seconds and we want to do plus 10. That's how much I have. And we want to plug that into there. Now this will go here. And essentially, if our seconds run out, I want to become visible again. And I'm just adding the 10 seconds for if I become invisible again. And at the very end of this, what you need to do, do a clear timer by function name. And the function name that you want to use is this one here that's coming out of the set timer by event. And this is called start timer. So I will call this start timer. Now get this, we can copy that. Log that into here because when we manually become visible again, it, nothing here will be called. So over here, we need to set our seconds back to zero. And we need to then get our seconds. We should add 10 seconds. And just delete everything. But that's, I don't know what happened there. 10 seconds. And we need to set this here again, just like that. So, and at the very end, we can plug that into there and this code should work good for us now. So let's compile and save and see if I did this correctly. So if we hit play, I become invisible. There we go. 10, 9, and let's wait until it goes down to zero. And I hope that it's working for you and for me. So there we go. We're visible. And if I want to interrupt this, so let's get maybe seven. Boom, interrupted. And boom, yeah, that's 10 again. So guys, that's essentially it. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And as always, happy developing.